What's up, y'all? Welcome to this week's YouTube. Today is Saturday, and that's where this week is going to start. It's been a long week, but I'm hella happy it's the weekend. Myla just got her ears pierced. Somebody came to do it. So that went really well. Um, she is eating with Deshaun right now. She had a little nap already, too, so she should be good to go for today. We are about to get dressed to run a couple errands. Then we're going to go have brunch with some friends. And then we'll play the rest by ear. But yeah, that's pretty much our day to day so far.
what's up y'all today is sunday and i am getting ready to put my planner together for the year this still has 2022 dates in it so i'm about to switch it out organize it get it together um this planner is from cloth and paper which i've had this for at least about four three or four years so yeah i had this for a while and i pretty much switch it out every year but honestly like last year i basically didn't even use it like most of it was blank so what i do is switch it out with 2023 inserts i also bought some new stuff to put in there which i will show y'all when i switch it out but I also want to show y'all some stuff that I got yesterday. I made two stops, but I was only able to get the things that I needed from one stop, and that was Bath and Body Works. And honestly, the only thing that I get from Bath and Body Works, I occasionally get um, their car air fresheners. However, they didn't have a scent that I wanted. So what I got was their plugins. And I only got two different scents. I got Laundry Day and Sun Drenched Linen. So I wanted the house to smell super fresh. Usually I buy scents by the season. So like for Christmas, I had the um, Bassam tree scent. Um, and then I had like the gingerbread scents and all that type of good stuff. As we go into the new year, since it's kind of like we're kind of in between seasons, I like the house to smell very fresh. So got these scents and then when the spring comes around, I will likely get floral scents. So got that and let's see, in my house, I probably use six to eight scents per time. So I pretty much stocked up. On what I could and with Bath and Body Works I have the rewards um, program or whatever that they have so I was able to get 20% off my order which is good because I shop there so much um, every few months it's always good when I can like get a good discount so got that yesterday did a quick pickup I usually do an online order However, we have someone come in to clean our place tomorrow. And so after they clean, I want to be able to go ahead and switch out those scents. Because um, right now, most of them are done, but we still have a few that like have a little bit of like Christmas scents in them, like the Christmas tree scents. So yeah, I want to go ahead and take all those out and replace them with fresh scents. So that's that. And then are these leggings. These are the fleece line leggings and I have some of these. Um, I've gotten multiple pair from free people in different colors. And then for Christmas, my grandma, she usually gets me some of these. However, as y'all know, like sometimes with tights, they start to get those little balls on them and they start to look old and dingy. So I wanted to get a fresh pair. And I found out about these through um, signed by Blake. I think she posted them like on Instagram. So yeah, I picked these up and I'm excited because these are going to keep me warm, but then also like the fresh black, it just, it does it for me every time. So happy about that. Um, so yeah, those are the only two things that I grabbed yesterday. And then my cloth and paper order came in last week but i wasn't ready to like start changing it out yet so let me show y'all what i got from my order last week all right so it came packaged in this really cute bag this is so cute. I'm definitely going to reuse this. I have so many linen bags that I reuse just from different pur purchases. Um, okay. But one of the first things that I got were these highlighters. Another thing that I got was a new pen. 
So, let me see. I like to have like a really good pen to write with when I'm writing in my planner and when I'm writing like in my journals. Like for um, Myla, we have a couple of those journals that like tracks her month by month development and I like get to write things to her. And I just like to have a really nice pen that I can write with. So I got this one and I have a couple of them like special pens. So yeah, I love having these little specialty pens. They write so well. Um, and then everything just looks super uniform like in my journals and my planners. So yeah, got that. And then I got my planner inserts. So the planner that I have is A5 and I think it's six rings. Yeah, it's six rings. So the specific ones that I got because they do sell different variations of the planner inserts. This one is horizontal weekly. So what that means is this is pretty much how it looks. And actually, I'll, I'll show y'all all this later. So I also got a finance bundle, which is definitely gonna be important because our finances have changed just a little bit since this new year started. Myla started daycare, so we have that expense. And then we got some things that we're working on. So I wanted to get us some nice, um, budget sheets that we can use to kind of like track our finances and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and set this up and yeah I just wanted to show y'all how I set it up. So first things first, one thing I love about cloth and paper is they have these cute little cards that I've pretty much just collected throughout the years of getting products from them. So what I'm gonna do is just add a couple of these into right here. I think it's cute. Like I, I like the idea of having these little note cards here. I think I'm gonna leave these out and just have maybe these two for now. My planner just for half the year. I remember when I first got my planner and I put all of the inserts in there at one time and it couldn't even close. So I like to do January through June and then sometime around May I'll go in and I'll switch them out. I love, I don't remember if this was free or if I bought it it was so long ago but I have this frosted cover um, just to kind of protect these inserts that I have and so I think I may have purchased this one and then I also have another one that I like to switch out but this year I think this is the one I want to have visionary and then I did buy this insert with these little stickers because I like to use these to just kind of mark my pages um, that way I don't have to like fiddle through all the pages to find what I need. So we have monthly budget, recurring payments, which is right here. We have expenses, which is right here. Non-essential spending, savings challenge, which this is 52 weeks. So this is the whole year. And this is good because every year I usually do a savings challenge where I save I think it's the amount of money per week. Like, so $1 for this week, $2 for that week, $3 for that week. 
and I'll save it. And then at the end of the year, I'll have like a couple thousand dollars and I actually usually double it. So I think I do two, four, six, eight. Um, and I keep up with all of that in my digit account. So if y'all ever interested in that, let me know. But either way, this is going to track all of our savings for portfolio allocations. And then we have our financial reflections, which is going to be super helpful month by month. And then these resources and tools, I probably won't even use. I have something, something about writing down a password just doesn't seem safe to me. So I probably will not use this sheet, but it's there just in case. And then there's also a reflect yearly tab. So this will be helpful too. And I obviously probably won't use this until Q4 of this year. So yeah, that is the budgeting portion of the planner. And then after that, we just go into month by month. So yeah, that is how I set my planner. And now I'm going to take a moment to um, go ahead and fill this out as much as I can for January. Good morning, Jade. May I have a sausage, cheddar, and egg sandwich? May I have a tall ice vanilla latte with oat milk? And that's all. You said that's all for you? Yes. Gotcha. Jimmy, 10 15. Thank you. One thing about me, I'm gonna make sure I eat. Like, I'm supposed to be at the office at nine o'clock. I'm gonna get there at nine o'clock because I'm gonna make sure I eat. I cannot stand being hungry. And also, I just, I can't even function when I'm hungry. So, Starbucks it is. Hello, good morning. You're welcome. May I have honey, please? How many honeys would you like? Uh, just one. Thank you. And then may I have one short straw and one tall straw? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Okay, y'all. So, this angle is not given, but it's going to have to. Okay, so today is my first day in an office working since the pandemic and to say I am not excited about it is literally a statement I have tried to been avoiding uh, going into the office at all but my team wants to go in once a week here and then once a week at my other office so here we are on Tuesday going into the office and then my office is, what, like 40, 45 minutes away from my house with Atlanta traffic. What's up, y'all? It is Tuesday, and it is 6.30, and Myla is in the bed. She's already asleep, so that's good. I have already taken my shower. I have done my skincare. Deshaun is downstairs in class, and I'm about to completely wind down. Like, I'm about to throw something on TV, 
Um, maybe continue editing this week's YouTube video. And that's about it. I have one thing on my to-do list that I want to get done. This year for me um, is really about just executing. Like, it's been a while since I've really been productive, like, and productive in my own way. Like, a few years ago, I started a blog, so I was blogging all the time, and I was also doing It Works, which is network marketing. I stopped doing that, and I felt like I just needed a break. Like, ultimately, felt like I was striving, but I was like, what am I striving for? Like, um, I felt like I was just running a rat race, so for the past couple of years, I've pretty much been chilling. And I've been okay with that. Honestly, I really have. Like, I've been okay with just doing my own thing. Okay with really just chilling and taking it every day, day by day. And But this year, I told myself that I was going to do something consistently. Like, I, one thing about it, like, I personally... I stay in my own lane. Like I do what works best for me. So the past couple of years, I have really been chilling, really just taking it easy, really just working on myself, to be honest, like working on the inner me. I got married two years ago. That was something new for me. So really just getting to know myself, getting to know my partner. Now I have Myla. And one thing about it as a parent, like, you really don't have any days off. Like, I remember before her, like, I would be so tired after work, and I'd be like, you know what, I'm going to just chill, I'm going to watch TV, I'm going to go to sleep. And I still am tired, but the thing about being a parent is, like, you're truly always tired. So I kind of got to the place where I'm like, if I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be tired anyway, I might as well just do the one thing that I want to do. Like right now, is six something. This is my time to like completely wind down and do whatever I want to do. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's kind of the vibe that I'm on. I'm kind of just like, let's just take it easy and see where this goes. YouTube is something that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. Like when I tell y'all, I have been looking at YouTube since the very beginning, like since middle school. And I've always wanted to do YouTube, but I've always been super scared and really afraid of like the commitment of doing YouTube. But I told myself this year I was just going to do it. Like I was always thinking like, oh, I don't know like how I'm gonna be on camera, like is it gonna be awkward? And this year I told myself, I'ma fight through it. Like I'ma fight through all of those feelings because this is something that I really want to do and this is something that I really enjoy doing. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I'ma do. I'ma take it day by day, I'ma take it week by week. But at the end of the day, like, my biggest goal for this year is to just be consistent. Like, just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Like, get better and better. Find new ways to be creative. Like, I think that's the main thing for me. It's so funny because after having a baby, like, people say, and it's true, like, sometimes you kind of lose yourself in having a baby and it's like, oh, I got to get back to who I was before. But for me, it's really just like building on the woman that I have become since having Myla and really just growing and evolving. Like, I truly don't feel like I lost anything or like am lacking anything by having her. Like, I'm super happy for Myla to be here. So this year really for me is really just about growing like really just staying true to myself and also keeping promises to myself like and I told myself that I wasn't gonna move and like do my next thing until I was ready like it's so easy to look at people on social media and look at your friends look at your family maybe even look at your spouse and think 
oh, I need to be doing what that person is doing, or I need to do the next thing, or I need to be more productive, or it's so easy to think all those things, but truly, like, really just go with your own flow. Like, go with what works best for you. And something that I've really been thinking about, like, I told Deshaun this the other day, I was like, you know what, when God gives you the grace to do something, you just run with it. Like, I've been wanting to do YouTube for a while now, but like, I literally kind of just woke up one day and was like, you know what, God, like, I hear you. Like, every day I'm looking at YouTube, every day I'm like, you know, where would I have been if I would have consistently done it and not been so afraid? And I honestly just started thinking like, okay, what are you afraid of? Like, there's literally nothing to be afraid of. Just do it. Like, I'm literally to the point now where I'm like, you have nothing to lose. And plus, I know that, like, I can, I can really do this shit. Like, I know that I really can. So, yeah, that's the type of time that I'm on. So, anyways, like I said, I just feel like I'm in a season where, yes, I have a lot going on. I have work full time. Um, Myla full-time, even though she's in daycare, like, being a parent is totally a full-time job. I also feel like I have a grace to execute on certain things right now in my life, so that's what I'm doing. I'm taking that, I'm running with it, and I'm really just praying day by day, like, our prayer, like, especially me and Deshaun, because he has a lot going on, too. Like, he's working full-time. We have Myla, and he's also in school in the evenings, getting his MBA. So, um, our thing has really just been, like, God, just give us strength. Like, this is a period where we're really, like, working on building our life. Like, obviously, we've been working on this since we became professionals, um since we graduated school, like really since high school, but like now since we have Myla, it's like, okay, where do we want to see ourselves in the next five to 10 years? And in order to do that, we need to work together, but also we understand that it's going to take God's strength. Like it's going to take, um, it's, it's going to require more than what we've given in the past. So yeah, we're just working together. Um, taking it day by day. And yeah, like I said, I'm giving myself grace. Like, yeah, I'm doing the whole YouTube thing, but I'm also, I'm also gonna give myself grace. I think that's just the word. Like, sometimes I have a habit to obsess, obsess over things. But yeah, this year, I'm gonna take it day by day. And I'm gonna just do what I do. So anyways, Having said all of that, I am about to prep Myla's bottles for tomorrow. I like to do that at night so that in the mornings, like we could just, I could just really put her formula in her bottles and we can go. And then the kitchen is pretty clean for the most part. So I'm just gonna load up the dishwasher with these little bit of dishes that's in here. Myla has a couple bottles that needs to be clean. I'm gonna clean those. And then we already got dinner. Deshaun picked us up dinner. So that's gonna be tacos with rice and beans. That's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna have that for dinner. And yeah, I'm gonna sit right there on that couch and I'm gonna catch up probably on some reality TV. And um, yeah. And then tomorrow is another day in the office. So. Second day in the office, which is fine. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, and then Thursday and Friday working from home, which I'm looking forward to, and then the weekend will be here. So, see, days just go by so quick, and it's like, time will pass you by if you allow it. Like, that's what I have learned in the past three years, like since the pandemic started, because I've been at my new job for three years, or new job, I've been at my current job for three years, and it's like, has it really been three years? Like. It's almost been three years of marriage. Like, Milo is already six months. Like, time will pass by if you let it. But it's like, you have to do, you have to do what you want with your time. And you have to be strategic with your time. And that's something that being a parent has also taught me. Like, you have to be very strategic. Like, there has to be a schedule. And it's crazy because now that Milo is here and we have more of a schedule and a routine so that, 
you know, in the past has been like, we just wake up, especially since the pandemic, we just wake up whenever we do work, we chill, like we play everything uh, by ear, day by day. But now it's kind of like, there's a routine to everything. Like even when, even when there's moments where we don't have something planned for the day, there's still a routine. Like have to get Myla up. Like she has a routine that she goes through in the morning. She has to eat. Like things just have to be in place and they have to be structured. Um, especially like, as some of y'all know, like in order for the day to continue to move forward, you have to put some type of structure in place. And so being a new parent, that has taught me a lot about my personal life. And so now I do the same thing. I put certain parameters, um, certain structures and certain routines in place for myself so that I can have the best day possible. So anyways, I'm done ranting for right now. Um, I'm about to prep this stuff and then I'm gonna chill out. So I will see y'all in the next clip.
what's up y'all this is the end of this week's vlog um today is friday thank god it's friday the work week is done um it's about four o'clock or 4 30. we're actually about to go get dinner and i'm excited because one i'm hungry and two i can really use a good glass of wine so yeah i am already dressed we're all about to go get dinner and yeah next week's vlog will start today after this one so see y'all in the next one bye